The left is a revolutionary, this Democratic Party is a Jacobin party, and they will not change their ideology or their agenda. It's, they're, it's, it's run by the Obamas and the people in the Obama administration who feel that they missed the boat and they were too compromised to be reelected or whatever. And Joe Biden is expendable. They don't care about Joe Biden. He's an empty vessel. And he's a very useful veneer to push this unpopular but revolutionary agenda forward and get it institutionalized. Donald Trump was a complete outsider. And we talked about that before. He was a gunslinger who came into town and cleaned things up. And he wasn't part of the town city council. And that's what they wanted in 2016. They did not want it particularly in 2020. But they do again now because they've seen what happened in, in the interval. And they, they don't like the, the Biden four years. And they're saying to everybody, we've got to clean this up. The other thing is, I think very quickly, we concentrate on the crudity of Donald Trump. But if you are in a room with Ron DeSantis and Nikki Haley and Donald Trump and other candidates that were on that stage and you wanted to know who would be the funniest and the most at ease and the most authentic, they would probably tell you that Donald Trump was. They would like everybody else, but Donald Trump, uh, he doesn't care. That's what they want right now. He doesn't care. If they, if they, most people say, oh my God, I cannot go to jail, or oh my God, I've been indicted, or oh my God, I got a porno star after me. It'll ruin my reputation. He doesn't care. And the people now have that same attitude. They're, they got to the point where they don't care. And they tell you that. And uh, we'll see. I don't think the judges, the prosecutors, and the juries understand that. That the more they go after him, the more he's gaining support from people who also don't care. And they're so angry. And a lot of them are in the black male community, the Latino. I, I live in a, a community of 95%. And my wife and I, we, we interact with all of our friends. And we have not met a Hispanic, Mexican-American male over the age of 40 who's voting for Joe Biden. So you're actually, you're actually practicing inclusiveness where you live, are you, Victor? Yes. I've seen young Hispanic women. I've seen mature Hispanic women that will probably vote traditionally Democratic, but not the males. They don't want their, there's so many issues that they have problems with the left. Thank you.